Welcome, Richard Aufreiter. You are happily welcome. Hi. Yes, I'm very happy that I have the chance to do the webcast now with Richard Aufreiter, Vice President, Product Marketing, HID. Thank you, Anna. Anya. Where are you located right now? I'm in Austria. Uh, it's a wonderful early autumn day, blue sky for the whole week. So we should be outside and not sitting inside doing interviews here. Okay, so let's hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same here. Uh, we it's are broadcasting. Night. We are broadcasting from Lüneburg nearby Hamburg and it's very nice outside. So yes, we we have a very nice September month. Okay, so let's start with our first question. I would like to know uh, from you, how has the year been for HID Global? What challenges have you faced this year? Well, overall, I would say this year was was good. COVID restrictions, as you know, are finally lifted and supply chain issues are becoming easier. Also, we are not 100% back to normal to pre-COVID levels. Uh, HID has six business areas uh, and several technology platforms, uh, LF, HF, UHF, and Active RFID. And, and they are all growing, fortunately. And one of the reasons is customers had a lot to catch up after the pandemic. Now, the next uh, issues that we see on the horizon is obviously inflation everybody is talking about and also overstocking in some market areas are becoming challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, we are a large and stable player backed by us, Uploid, that helps us navigating a bit these turbulent times and being a reliable source for customers. We are doing this by efficient stock management, long-term contracts, dual sourcing strategies, and also just global supply chain contacts with uh, the purchasing power that we got by also the acquisitions that we did recently, which made us a more dominant customer for many of our suppliers. Mm. Okay, so really a challenging year for HID. Okay. As always. <laughs> yeah. As you mentioned, your company grew a lot recently through acquisitions. Please tell us more about how your customers benefit from these new group members. Sure. So in, in the past two years, uh, HRD bought six companies uh, into the group, and five of them belong to uh, identification technologies where I belong to. And I want to talk a little bit about those. So first was VZNX uh, in May 22. They are a specialist in super small on metro PCB techs. These added a manufacturing site in the warehouse in the United States, which we didn't have before in our business area. Second was Acura. They are a RAIN RFID reader manufacturer and specialist in Brazil and Latin America. This provided, again, our business area with a significant footprint in, in this region. Then towards end of 22, uh, Chenon came on board. They develop handheld RFID readers for ticketing, retail, uh, logistics application. And they also include official Apple Wallet and Google Pay support, which is not so easy to get. They, for example, provided all the ticketing for uh, ticket verifiers for the soccer championship in Qatar last year and uh, complement very well the TSL acquisition from 2021, which focused on which have handled with us. Then two more. Uh, in February this year, uh, the Canadian company Guard RFID joined us. They are a well-known player for active RTLS and, and staff to rest applications, uh, especially in North American healthcare markets and they complement our Bluetooth-based uh, HRD location services. And finally, there is Connexient in May this year who provide wayfinding and indoor navigation utilizing BLE beacons uh, with a special focus again on hospital campuses. Overall, I would say customers benefit from global support and stability of HRD, integrating the different technologies and services makes us a trusted partner and supplier for basically any RFID need. We become a one-stop shop of high quality components and enabling services in this contactless identification market. That's the goal we yeah. want mm. to achieve. Mm. Great, so a lot happened. <laughs> I would like 
I would like to know <laughs> how does uh, HID find or choose these companies? Uh, finding, of course, there is different activities. We proactively, proactively talk to uh, companies that interest us. Uh, sometimes they come to us. Uh, so it's a mutual process between us and the company, uh, which not always works out, but that's why you have these evaluations for. Uh, when you're a good candidate for us, they should extend our capabilities in terms of either technology um, or production or geographic footprint, or maybe all. The company needs to have a good name in the industry, have a certain minimum size, and should also be a good cultural fit. Uh, ideally, it should not overlap too much with the existing portfolio unless it's an extension of the production or something like that, so that uh, we can really thrive with the synergies there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, thank you. So, how does HID Global's current strategic direction align with the evolving trends in RFID technology? Well, one of the main analyst firms in our space is ID TechX, and they expect in their current uh, RFID market report a size of around $14 billion and $39 billion passive tax being sold this year. Uh, market segments are besides retail and logistics, where you have a lot of UHF labels, obviously. There is still other significant market segments like HF cards for access control and payment, or Animal ID, which is mostly LF technology. So, for example, according to ID TechX, RAIN RFID sales will, will be 40% less uh, than the total value of the HF revenue simply because of the different price points of the technology. Also, the quantity of, uh, of products is, of course, much higher in UHF. Uh, HID is one of the few players who can address the complete RFID markets across frequencies and chip technologies. We are not tied to one specific technology and can always offer what's best for the use case in the customer. This is something we are very proud of. And we constantly add new technologies or production processes, uh, either in-house research or through acquisitions like the ones I mentioned before. See also, uh, for example, the recent additions of LogaVan, passive sensors or PCP text to, to our portfolio. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a lot. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it seems from your website that HID pride themselves on being able to tag and track almost everything. Can you give our viewers an interesting current use case that might surprise them? Okay, let me give you maybe two examples. Uh, one interesting use case that relates to many people is probably the fact that HID is delivering the TIC or has delivered the ticketing and Fanity systems for the World Soccer Championship in Qatar last year. This, this involved not only RFID tickets and fan ID mm -hmm. cards, but also ticket verification devices from Chanan, which at that point in time was not in our group, and UHF reader gates and the perimeter of, uh, at the perimeter of eight stadiums. So in total, over 7 million ticket scans were performed with our readers for this event. Besides the hardware, also the management software for the ticketing on site was provided by us. Uh, and we will have a, a talk at the IRT tomorrow show where we will uh, discuss some of these in detail. A very different example uh, recently is the cust a custom designed IQ Pro RAIN RFID label for Australian Rule Exchange, also called AVEX. So for this demanding application, HRD engineers designed a highly durable label that is used to identify every bag of wool that is produced in Australia, and they call it eBail. So the, these labels were designed to sustain high pressure, wear and torsion uh, in, the, in the bale when processing uh, the bales throughout the life cycle. Uh, this label, along with the software called Wool Clip from our partner Ed Edilem, resulted in improved traceability, for example, for biosecurity threats like food and mouse disease, uh, reduced shipment errors or lost wool bales, uh, and assist the logical management of warehouses. <clears throat> so that is uh, a, a major step forward uh, and, and is now fully in production this year. So these two are just, just two very different examples of the breadth of use cases that we cover with our 
RFID platforms and, and the engineering expertise we have. Yeah. So we RFID enable uh, the use cases of our customers, in short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for these two examples. Great. I heard already from the, about them. <laughs> now more, I would like to, to come at the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like to uh, change the topic now a little bit. Let's come now to the RFID and wireless IT tomorrow this year in Wiesbaden. Your company is uh, a very uh, loyal exhibitor already since 2012 and even a sponsor. What will you present this year at your booth? Yeah, of course. Uh what you would expect a range of passive uh, RFID tags, including passive sensor tags that uh, we will also demonstrate in, in a speed lab that is new for this year in the show. We will also show the handheld readers from Chanam and TSL uh, that were mentioned before that complement the tech portfolio. Then, mm -hmm. of course, one of the highlights of the passive tags will be what we got from Visinex, the Sentry PCB tech portfolio. This team is specializing in super compact on metal rain RFID tags, which they make in a special direct bonding technology on, on PCB basis. Uh, this is a very good size performance ratio and rapid prototype uh, tag that are, can be fine tuned for the use cases. So for example, uh, they are available in a pro version that allows them to survive up to 1000 autoclave uh, disinfection cycles without problems when normal tags would survive maybe 100 cycles or less. Uh, there is also the RAIN RFID co-located event at the show and I will have another talk there which talk uh, highlight how the AV rental industry is utilizing these tags uh, for their logistics processes. On the HF side, uh, we will bring some soccer championship tickets from Qatar mm -hmm. and a range of custom design HF and UHF labels and trusted NFC tags for brand protection that come from our LookSight and business unit. And finally, of course, we have some active technologies uh, like Bluetooth, LoRaWAN and Cooper used for indoor and outdoor location and condition monitoring. So I would say there is something for everyone at the show who is interested in our RFID. Yes, it seems like. Thank you very much. And and your company will also be part of the conference. So what will be the, the topic there in the conference? Yeah, it will be more than one topic. Uh, that's, uh, we will have in total three speaking sessions, one uh, speed lab and one demo area. Uh, so you can find us in different places at the show. In the speaking sessions, there is Holger Brasse, our sales manager for Dach and Eastern Europe. He will talk about examples of smart RFID components, uh, how they optimize workflows and costs in the automation, especially automotive and logistics industry. Doug Lloyd, who is the head of sales from our new colleagues from Chanam, he will talk about RFID readers and how they were utilized in both for ticketing and crowd management in the soccer championship of, of Qatar last year. And finally, as I mentioned, I will present at the co-located Rain Forum <clears throat> about uh, how this PCB tech technology was used to save effort and cost at a large AV rental agency in, in, in the United States. In the speed lab, uh, we will demonstrate our with our chip partner ASIN the power of passive sensor techs. So these passive sensor techs, they don't have a battery. They can measure various parameters like temperature, strain, humidity uh, in a contactless way. And uh, we will use a bow uh, without errors for safety to demonstrate this functionality in a, in a, in a live, uh, lively way and have experts on site to answer any questions uh, mm. about this technology. So we will can measure with the bow when you pull it, you can measure the strain and also the, the temperature of the room, obviously. Yeah, uh, this, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. This passive product is very new. So it's very interesting to have this topic there. Great. Yes, and, and it's also to spark the imagination of the, of the attendees to uh, come up with, with use cases where they can utilize this kind of technology in, in yeah. their very specific environments. Yeah, right. 
Yes, Richard, we are already at the end of our webcast and I have one final question. So what does uh, the RFID tomorrow 2023 means for HID? Well, as you know, for us, uh, we are very loyal uh, exhibitor and, and for us, this show is certainly the highlight of the year in Europe when it comes to, every, uh, to RFID shows. Uh, it's very well organized, thanks to you and your team and, and all the major players come together this year, uh, especially also there is the AIM Anniversary Summit and the RAIN Forum co-located. So it's really a meeting of all the RFID industry here. And for us, it's a great place also to network, uh, maintain contacts and uh, of course, finding new leads, hopefully to have new solutions to present the year after. And we are sure it will be uh, a success for all of us. We are looking forward to meet you and the colleagues there. Great, thank you for this very positive word, words. Thank you for that, Richard, yes. Thank you. You're welcome, thank you, Anna.